The Cao Dai Tain Ning sect, created in 1997 by an edict of the Vietnamese Communist Party, is an organization used by the Vietnamese government to repress and annihilate the Cao Dai religion. Sect members have committed severe violations of human rights, including torture and cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatments against Cao Dai adherents with the aim of coercively converting them. Since 2008, this 1997 sect has resorted to violence to systematically seize numerous Cao Dai temples throughout the country. They seized and occupied the Cao Dai religion's holy see in the Tainin province and forbid the true Cao Dai followers to worship there. They have also invaded private homes of fervent Cao Dai followers to disrupt religious practices and ceremonies being conducted there. Most of these violent seizures of temples and attacks on Cao Dai followers were conducted with the support of the government and local public security police. The Cao Dai religion was founded in 1926 under the official name of Great Way of Third Amnesty of God, with its charter approved on July 12, 1965 by the government of the Republic of Vietnam, the Cao Dai religion acquired legal status at the national level. The people who are currently occupying its holy see in the Tainian province are not the recognized officials of the Cao Dai religion. They actually belong to a sect created by the Vietnamese Communist Party, VCP, in 1996. In 1997, the Vietnamese government approved the charter of this new sect and accorded it legal status under the official name of Great Way of Third Amnesty of God, Cao Dai Te Ninh. The name of the original Cao Dai religion did not contain the four words Cao Dai Te Ninh. On July 20, 1978, the Vietnamese Communist Party's Fatherland Front of Te Ninh province issued its verdict, denouncing the Cao Dai religion as reactionary and a puppet of the French and American colonialists. Using this verdict as justification, on December 13, 1978, the People's Council of Tainying Province passed a resolution to outlaw the Cao Dai religion and disband its entire administrative structure from the central to the local levels. On June 4, 1980, the People's Committee of the Tainying Province seized all lands and most of the religious properties of the Cao Dai religion, including its hospital, university, library, and many schools. The Vietnamese Communist Party, VCP, thought these repressive actions would destroy the Cao Dai religion, but they recognized later that they had failed, so they devised a new strategy to force Cao Dai religion adherents to join a new religion that the VCP creates and controls. On May 29, 1996, the VCP's Provincial Committee of Tainying Province designated Communist Party members to form a steering committee to oversee the formation of the new sect and, quote, ensure that the strict leadership of the VCP guard against, fight off, and deal with any manifestation of opportunism, division, or opposition by bad elements, end quote. This is from the Secret Announcement Number 319, TB, BDV, Mass Mobilization Committee, VCP's Central Executive Committee. The Vietnamese government created the 1997 Sex Governing Council with individuals closely associated with the VCP or members of the government. The government also turned over to the 1997 sect all properties of the Cao Dai religion that were under state management. The Cao Dai religion followers are forbidden to visit the Holy See of Te Ninh unless they recognize and obey the 1997 sect's governing council. In other words, the Cao Dai religion followers must renounce their original Cao Dai religion and recognize the 1997 sect if they wish to worship at their holy see. The 1997 sect is not the Cao Dai religion. There are fundamental differences between the original Cao Dai religion created in 1926 versus the Cao Dai sect created in 1997 by the Vietnamese Communist Party, VCP. Differences in dogmas. Spiritist seances constitute the cornerstone of the Cao Dai religion, which is based on spiritual communications between God and his followers. 
Ordainment of all cow die clergy members must be by divine confirmation through the spirit of seances. The 1997 sect do not use the spirit of seances. Instead, they followed the VCP's orders and resort to clergy ordainment by lottery balls through the use of a lottery system with blue, red, and yellow balls. Abandoning the spirit of seances means abandoning the cow dye religion. On November 16, 2015, the legislative body of the cow dye religion denounced the 1997 sex deception scheme. The actions of secularly appointed Cardinal Tang Tam Tan are against God's will, against the Holy Constitution, because he was not divinely confirmed to be a clergy member of the Cao Dai religion at Holy See in Tan Ning. We therefore call him by his secular name, Win Tan Tam, and not as Cardinal Tong Tam Tan. Differences in Religious Charters The Cao Dai Religion's Charter of Separation of Church and State forbids its clergy members from participating in government politics per the Edict of the Year of the Tiger, 1938. On the other hand, members of the 1997 Sex Governing Council are all members of the VCP's Central Committee of the Fatherland Front of Taining Province, which in 1978 issued the verdict to annihilate the Cao Dai Religion. Mr. Ho Nakta, Chair of the Governing Council, was Vice Chair of the Central Committee of the Fatherland Front of Vietnam for 1994 to 1999. Mr. Win Tan Tam, Vice Chair of the Governing Council, was a member of the Fatherland Front of Taining Province of 1994 to 1999. In July 1997, he was selected by the Vietnamese Communist Party to be a member of the National Assembly. Differences in Regulations The Cao Dai religion honors followers who undergo hardship, perils, and imprisonments while spreading the church gospel and allows them to place their names on the ballots for clergy members after having completed the required five years of church service, Edict of the Year of the Tiger, 1938. On the other hand, the 1997 sect constitution decrees punishments for followers who steadfastly protect the church against the government's campaign to annihilate the church. Church officials and followers acting against the government, the solidarity of the people, peace, and unification of the country will be punished not only by the government, but also by the church. Article 31. Differences in the organizational structures. In the Cao Dai religion's administrative structure, the church directly governs through its officials who spread the gospel in the localities. In the local regions, the religious district councils are elected by the followers and are the organizations representing the church locally. This setup exemplifies the democratic nature of the Cao Dai religion. The structure of the 1997 sect is completely different. The sect's total administrative power is held by the governing council at the central level. There are no regional councils in the localities as democracy is outlawed by the communist government. Differences in rules. All religious officials of the Cao Dai religion must wear the required religious garbs. On the other hand, the 1997 sect created a domestic security sector with agents wearing civilian clothes with a red band on one sleeve. This is the outfit the government inserts in the church to violently repress the Cao Dai religion followers who come near the Cao Dai Temple of Tae Ning. In summary, the organization occupying the Cao Dai Holy See of Tae Ning and most of the Cao Dai temples in Vietnam are actually members of the 1997 sect created by the Vietnam Communist Party in 1997 that is fundamentally different from the original Cao Dai religion. Since 2007, this 1997 sect has fraudulently claimed that it is the Cao Dai religion, seized numerous Cao Dai temples, and forced Cao Dai true followers to renounce their original religion. It even uses the, quote, marks, letterhead, seal, and insignias of the Cao Dai religion in all communication, publications, and promotional materials. Because of its very elaborate deception, the growth of the 1997 sect has been incorrectly interpreted by some foreign observers as a sign of improved religious freedom for Cao Dai followers. Nothing could be further from the truth. They are the heretic Cao Dai sect, 
The goal of this video series is to reveal the true identity of the 1997 sect to the Kaodai followers, the Vietnamese community, and the rest of the world. 